Raise your hand if you. Do you hostess coach? Raise your hand. And it's okay if you don't. I just want to know. Do you hostess coach? Okay. Now put your hand down. Okay. Now raise your hand if you've ever had a show cancel on you. Okay. So I'll tell you what the, the statistics were. Maybe half of you hostess coach. And every single person, almost, maybe not the new people because they never had a show, um, have had somebody cancel on them. Okay? Guess what? I think they're related. Right? I have had many people cancel. We call them reschedulizations, not cancelizations. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have a happy horse. And I want to give you a. <laughs> It's time effective for you. If you are going to be leaving your house to do a show, you, you want it to be worth it, right? You're getting in your car, out of your pajamas, to go make a couple hundred dollars, hopefully, right? Why not maximize that time? So this is a way for you to work effectively, smart, and also with a busy life. How many of you work full time or have another job, who have children, you know, who it's hard to even choose a salad over a burger? I mean, I know. <laughs> so, anyways, this is a way for you, it, it's going to sound like a lot of information, but I'm going to give you a handout and it's going to make it really simple, okay? So, pick up your pens, and I'm going to tell you, this is, and now, there's hostess coaching is a big broad spectrum. There's people that home hostess coach, and if you're doing that and that's working for you, I want you to keep doing this, okay? But here's some helpful suggestions for you who do not home hostess coach or who do not hostess coach at all. Number one, communicate in person. Number two, communicate in writing. Number three, communicate over the phone. That's all you have to do to host this coach. One, two, and three. Okay? Now, if you do not communicate, do not expect your shows to hold. Why would they? If, if I booked a show with somebody and they didn't bother to call me no, a week or two before I was supposed to have that show, I probably would have thought they forgot, I forgot, I got busy, I forgot to communicate, I didn't have their number. Your hostesses do not know how to have a show. It is our job to help them have the best show possible. Okay? Right? Makes sense? All right. So, um, we're going to implement a very easy to use system, and everybody's going to be a happy camper on a happy horse. Um, this is going to sound like a big number, but I'm going to break it down so easy for you. You should be communicating with your hostesses between five and seven times before their show. They should know your name, and maybe your last name too. It's okay, you know, you should know their name for sure. Okay, I have done that before, it's so bad. I called somebody Linda and her name was Kathy, and I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> backtrack on that one. Um, so on the Rockstar site, you have to find out what's good for you. If you're super organized, um, whatever it may be, I'm not. This is really helpful. Um, this is on the Rockstar site under Hostess Coaching. It's a little chart I keep with me at all times. I write all my hostesses down here on this thing. And then these are all the things you can modify this to be what you want it to be. Um, examples are, I gave them a hostess packet. I sent them a thank you card at the end, or thank you for booking. Um, I received their invite list. I sent invites out for them. I reminded them, things like that. The show was held. I collected all the money. I deposited all the money. Like, you, so you can modify these to be whatever you need them to be, wherever you can identify your weakness being, I want you to, I want you to put those in. Does that make sense? Um, because I feel like if you have, let's say you have four shows coming up this summer, it's gonna be really hard to remember, oh, wait, who did I get a catalog? I think I gave them a catalog. I can't remember if I gave them, a, did I call them and remind them, did I get their invites? Oh my God, their show's in two weeks, I haven't even talked to them. If you do this, you won't have to worry about it. Okay, so that's really simple. Um, there's a script I'm going to hand you, okay? Everybody's going to get a copy of this. It's front and back. Looks like a lot of words. But I read through it, 
and it takes a total, these are all the communications you're going to have with them, it takes a total of 15 minutes. Wow. Now, I'm not saying you have to do this every, well, we're gonna, 15 minutes a day working your business is a whole other training, which is super easy, right? 15 minutes a day. It's like, goes totally back to the thinking and putting yourself in that mind frame. 15 minutes a day. Let's squeeze it. Um, but in terms of talking to and communicating with your hostesses from the time they book until the time their show comes, it only takes 15 minutes of your time. And I guarantee if you hostess coach, the increase, I'm not saying you will not have any cancellations, life happens and I get that and we find another date for them. But you will increase the amount of bookings that keep their date on your calendar. So the first time, the points of contact, this is the timeline. You start hostess coaching them immediately. When they book their show, those people that are waiting in line with brownies and friends will be fine. Take the time that you can and use your hostess packets. Close your eyes. Raise your hand. Do you use hostess packets? Oh, that's good. That makes sense. <laughs> well, that was good. That was good. That was good. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. My hostess packet is the envelope. The envelopes that come from Premier, that works for me. Um, I keep them because everything I need to talk them through is right on beautifully graphic organized on the envelope, so why not use that? I took two catalogs in there, I give them like a couple order forms, because I used to do that pre-printed order form. You can do that, but honestly, a pack of order forms is like $3, so I give them a bunch, and I say, if you need more, I'm happy to send you more, I'm happy to get you, an email you want even, okay? But that way, there's no excuse. It's very easy to use, they just filled out one for themselves, they understand, make sense? So I shove some of those in there, um, and I start going over that envelope with them. I don't want to overwhelm them because they're like, wah, you know, but I'm like, I'm so excited to work with you and help you get as much free jewelry as possible. So um, make sure they have a date on the calendar, obviously, you're giving them the hostess packet, but your first point of contact is in person. Um, I'm just going to read a little bit and then I'll stop because you can, you can have this and read it, but you know, we're gonna have so much fun. I'm gonna help you get as much jewelry as possible. Um, so have fun making out your wish list. Start thinking about all the things that you wanna get for free. So it's for them, okay? We're not being greedy yet and saying, I need your guest list and I want you to invite 40 people because I need high retail. No, we're saying, I want you to get as much jewelry as you can get and I'm gonna help you do that. Um, this is gonna be the 20, especially when they need, you have to get the date. But this is gonna be the easiest $25 that you are ever gonna get with Premier. We're gonna keep your date, and you're gonna get $25 in jewelry. So that's exciting. Start thinking about what you want this $25 in there. Um, so we're already hostess coaching them by talking about the importance of keeping that date. And for those of you who feel comfortable saying this, I encourage you to, because I do, and I have no problem saying it. I used to, and I don't have a problem anymore. But I, thanks for laughing. <laughs> I know it's your first training. All right. She's a happy horse. <laughs> but I say, this show is so important to me. I'm excited to get you free jewelry. I appreciate you booking with me. If anything comes up, and then if you go home and realize this date isn't going to work for you, you need to let me know as soon as possible, um, because I do count on the show towards my total income for the month. It's my job. So I really appreciate it. This is a fun job I have. Do you want to do it? Come to my OP. No, I'm sure. <laughs> Even though I'm thinking that. <laughs> I seriously will. They're Carrie, they will can I just say what I've added in yes. my packet? Please. That I think has changed a little bit of my cancellation. Please. Is when I'm talking about the bonuses and all of that, mm -hmm. I just pull out this little sheet. There's two sheets in there. That's all I can do is two sheets. Mm -hmm. And my packet isn't even the one that Premier gives you. <gasps> it just okay. the most benefits on the front. But I anyway, do two sheets. <laughs> and the one says, thank you so much for booking your show, blah, 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 blah. I put a big note on there. If you can't keep your date, please let me know so I can give it to somebody on my waiting list. Great. And then it has the date, the time. I have them right in there. Yes. Even if they're like, okay, yeah, just feel like, I'm like, oh, no, no, this is your first shot as a hostess. <laughs> and your date and your time. And then they do. And then they say, now this is so, so this piece of paper is what you're going to put on your front door or on your refrigerator. So every time somebody comes into your house, between today and the day of your show, they're gonna see this and they're gonna be like, you're having, a, you're having a jewelry party? And that, you're like, yeah, you're invited, you gotta come. And 
I that's actually a great idea. Doing that. I don't know how positive, but I did have quite a few shows last month. Uh, 19. Oh, yeah. 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 I did have cancellations too. I had four not rescheduled. That what? usually doesn't happen. That's I well I mean they didn't even reschedule. But oh. now that is the one thing I put in there that's new. And the second thing is it's a sheet that I think Melissa Belcano gave me and it's a, I call it reschedulization is what it actually says on there. So that. That's hilarious. And it just says, just so you know, this is my full time job. Mm -hmm. If you and it the right it says, let's that. face it, it happens. And when I sit down with them when they're booking the show, I say, Let's face it, it happens, kind of just like what you said. Yeah. And I just say Let's say it does happen, but if it does, if something does come up, please, please, please let me know because I book my babysitters and I pay them whether or not they come. It's my husband and I pay him sexual favors. <laughs> that date with them. 
get the guest list as soon as possible. I used to say, oh, at least two weeks before your show, I need your guest list. No, I need your guest list like ASAP. Even if your show's not for like a month and a half, you know, if you want to give them an incentive, you can. I just tell them, I need your guest list. I do. And put it right on your folder. Yes, put it right on their yeah. folder when they need guest list by. Yep. You said that you were a hostess, um, like asking, like, can I practice my OP to you kind of thing? When do you do that in this point of communication? You'll see. You'll get it. It'll be in there. It's oh, going to be before the their show. Or yeah. Or when will I say it? You will. You will. Let's go over the next slide. Oh, by the way, if you do want a hostess coach, if you have the opportunity or the flexibility or the desire, um, or you've made it a point to do it and it's working for you, please do that. I think that is super effective if you can swing it. And if you do home hostess coach or you'd like to home hostess coach, that means or out for a cup of coffee or meet them on a lunch break or whatever it is. It doesn't have to be in their home. It could be, but it doesn't have to be. Set the date for that at the same time you're setting the date for the show. So if the show is July 7th, you could say, hey, do you want to meet? What about want to meet next week and we can, I'll grab, we'll grab a cup of coffee and I'll give you your hostess packet and stuff. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Yes. I was just going to ask, as far as the guest list goes, yeah. if the hostess is who's sending out everything, mm -hmm. how do you kind of fit that in? Um, okay, so there's two ways to get a guest list that I've been using. Um, I do the invitations for them. Always have, and I probably always will. There are people that do not do invitations. That's fine for them, if it works for them. If I have the guest list and I have the invita invitations, I know they're going in the mailbox because I have control. I do not have control when I give them postcards and say, have fun. So I do, do I give them postcards? Do I give them extra invitations? Do I email an invitation to them? Absolutely, I want them to spread, spread it. They might pass someone at the gym, oh, I forgot to invite you here, come to my premiere show. I have it in my purse or whatever. And I tell them, keep these on you. There's gonna be people you forgot to invite, that way they don't feel bad, here's an invitation. Um, but I ask for guests, I ask for their, not email addresses, I actually get their uh, home address. And I do their invitations for them. I, mail, I don't mail them out a month and a half in advance. I mail them out about two weeks in advance. You can, you know, depending on when it is. Um, but I, I will mail them for them. Because then I know they went out. And then I know they have to have a show. They can't cancel on me. Because no one's coming. Well, did you do any invitations? Like five. Yeah, right. Well, that's why. So, okay. Does that make sense? Yes. I love the happy ones. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Idea. <laughs> there's those, there's going to be those people that I hear about secondhand that you just you book the show and then you don't ever hear from them again. Mm -hmm. you, you, you mm -hmm. Contact you kind of. How do you avoid getting off the happy horse and on the you know the, the cranky horse? That you change the people, change that you change that's right. right. Um, first of all, you should always overbook yourself. So if you need a financial goal, let's say you have to have four shows a month to meet your goals, you should definitely be booking at least five to six, um, closer to six probably. There will be people, life happens, right? How do you keep going? And it's with anything. How do you keep going when you get rear-ended? Do you stop driving? Somebody rear-ended me. I am never driving my car again. No, you just get in your car and you keep going. Amen, sister. So you have to, <laughs> it's gonna happen. Uh, every single person raised their hand in here when they had a, a cancellation, almost. If you didn't raise your hand, what is your trick? Because I always have someone that cancels. Haven't had a show yet? And that, yeah, it's like, oh yeah, if you haven't had a show, like that's good. And I'm not trying to scare the people, I'm trying to prepare them. If you haven't had a show, you have people that cancel. Um, how do you stay positive? Keep talking to them. I wouldn't give up on them. I always tell them, oh, your hostess got credit, if they did. Your hostess got credit for your um, booking, so we just need to find another date that works for you. And I give them two choices. Does July 26th or August 1st work best for you? It's like, I've been comparing it to Starbucks lately. I've been going to Starbucks and I'm completely overwhelmed. Frappuccino, cappuccino, iced hot, I don't know any of this. Give me a coffee. <laughs> so, if you give people less of a choice, right, and then go from there. If those two don't work, then pick in the next two that you have that you need booked. But when you're trying to reschedule with people, if you limit your amount, of availability and say, hey, does, does July 26th or August 1st work better for you? They're going to pick one. It's like if you had a choice between iced tea and coffee, you'd pick whichever one you wanted. And that's kind of, does that make sense? Am I answering your question? I don't know. You just got to keep going. It's going to happen. It's going to stink. And you're like, people are rude sometimes. Yes. And if you can't change your people, book. Yes. Book more shows. 
And for the ones that aren't, if you call them or email them right. or and they don't send you anything back.